Okay, hey guys, thanks for watching, Epi here, and we are doing a quick and relatively uh, spontaneous uh, cast of the third game between Dara and M5 right now. The winner of this will be in the winner, winner's bracket final at the Star Ladder LAN event. So uh, I, th I saw both games, or like the ending of the second game as well, and uh, really enjoyed that. So I'm really down for this game. We're already in the draft, so I won't waste any more time with this, guys. Uh, let me actually close this here down. It was just a very, very spontaneous thing. And we're already in the draft. So Dara got the first game. Um, M5 now won the second game. And on LAN, the tiebreaker is now played. So actually it was PGG last game who had that Chen. And let's catch up on the draft. So the bands out were Tinker, Darkseer, and Broodmother for art style, or at least uh, Dara. Uh, Goblin now does the draft, and art style doesn't anymore. Tinker was played last last game from uh, Admir, and PGG banned out Lycan, uh, Lone Druid, and Leshrac. So let's see how this here goes. I do have to check a few more things, guys. So let me quickly check you guys uh, over here one more time, because this is like such a crushed thing. I'm not fully prepared. Gotta check this here as well. Okay, Socks got taken out here. He was with me last day. Okay, here we are. And again, Chaos Knight. That was that hero was played last game as well. So Nature's Prophet and Chaos Knight given up now at the price of a Chen. So we'll see how Dara's going to respond to this. We still have Invoker in the game. G played him last game as well. And in five seems to be okay with giving that one away. Leshrac also, no Leshrac's gone. Invoker and maybe Windrunner. I got the feeling I'm missing someone. But uh, we will see about that. Alright. So Windrunner is the second pick now. And they have one more left. Invoker. And it's going to be Invoker. Maybe they weren't impressed with his performance as of late with Invoker. He always plays the Exhort Invoker and uh, is very susceptible to get ganked early on. And he has been ganked in most of the games. People managed to keep him down quite well. And, and we'll see how this goes. Enigma. I think it's going to be an Enigma pickup now for M5. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Anyway, they, they go for AA immediately to counteract that Chen heal, so not going for that Enigma right now. Second band phase now hitting. And in the second band phase, now Enigma gets taken out. Don't want to give that to PGG, don't want to play that themselves. They could have uh, picked Enigma right for the first pick of the second pick phase, but they apparently don't want it. So both bands that uh, Dara is going to pick now will be based solely on the reason that they do not want M5 to have it in their lineup. And all the bands now from M5 will be their predictions of what Dara wants to go for. Sand King has been a hero that's been uh, picked up a lot in the past few games. That reliable stun um, and the epicenter is just too much to pass up on. So Enigma is one hero and Enchantress is the other hero that Dara do not want uh, PG to get his hands on. I like those bands a lot, and uh, they are lacking team fight a little bit. So I can understand the Sand King ban out, but I'm not too sure what they're going to ban out next. Ten seconds remaining. 
So he's got five more seconds of the regular time, fifty in the bonus. Reserve time. Tidehunter is still in. Um, Wisp is also still in. So is Rubik. Um, the heroes that came in with the last patch, like not the one with the Templar Assassin, but the one before that, uh, Thrall. He's also not allowed, I think, in in this tournament to be picked up. And man, this ban is uh, proving to be very, very hard for M5. They decide to go with the Night Stalker, and I like that one. It's a, it's a good one. It that one would have enabled some good diving. Together with Chen and Sunstrike, there would have certainly been some dead heroes. Dara did uh, very well with uh, heroes such as Bounty Hunter. The last game they lost against M5, but yesterday they won with a Bounty Hunter, and actually was very well played. Okay, so they now have uh, disruption to, to disruption to set off uh, to set up uh, ganks with, or sun strikes, or shackle shots, or uh, centaur stuns. The last pick for Dara will have to kind of uh, set the pace of the game, though. I think it will have to be someone that is going to be able to dish out some good damage. Um, wouldn't be too sure who would, who that could be, though. Maybe a brewmaster. Maybe a brewmaster. And M5 has, has got a very, very strong high mobile Chaos Knight, uh, two globally present heroes, or at least two globally present ultimates, and one globally present hero in that Nature's Earth Prophet. And an Urshik pickup. So PG is going to play that one, and here we go. There's that uh, damage dish out machine in Skeleton King. And this is the last and deciding game, game uh, guys. 1 1 the score. Skeleton King ex gets picked up from Dera. And this is the lineup that they will choose to uh, get themselves into the winner's bracket final. Whoever wins this game will go up against Navi right after. So I think that uh, since Dara won the first game and M5 won the second game, the psychological advantage would be on M5 side. Because now Dara feels uh, some great pressure and M5 is riding on the, on the happiness and uh, the success of the last game. Storm Spirit is alive. So we'll see how this goes. Storm Spirit is the last pickup. Actually, a very interesting one at that. And the game's gonna start. Interesting to see though that M5 does not have uh, a flag here, no sponsor flags. Quite interesting. Okay, to no surprises, it will be G, our Invoker, Mag, or Windrunner. Um, Funic will be playing Shadow Demon. And uh, Goblag actually on Chen and Art Style on Skeleton King. So Art Style is on his newfound role as the carry player for Dera, and they're already rotating out toward their own jungle. To maybe look for a clash to Treons coming their way now to do some scouting. Those are actually the Treons that you can purchase uh, in the Valve store. Now we can watch him die. 13 gold to Windrunner. Vigos in the middle lane uh, with an Ancient Apparition will be supporting Chaos Knight played by SS. He played a great game last game. Got a quick armlet and uh, basically was unstoppable from that point on. PGG obviously on Earthshaker, Admir, Nature's Prophet, and Blood Angel on Storm Spirit on the short lane. So, PGG will do some roaming. Good luck have fun comes up from PGG, not responded from Dera. In case you don't know guys, this is a grudge match between both teams. There's some bad blood on both sides of this. Many of the guys on the Dera team used to be M5. The only ward that the Dyer has right now is on the high ground in the middle lane to make it easier for uh, SS and Ancient Apparition to gain control of this. And Artstyle actually with Shadow Demon in the middle lane now. So it will be a dual lane against a dual lane. But PG is also here and he will set up with the stun. Stun into a cold snap. 
And uh, Funic will get frozen, actually disrupts himself. That's a very great play from him here, and they have to back out. That saved his life right there. Amazing play. Just a cool that you gotta have, be able to have as a player to uh, consider the option of disrupting yourself when things are looking so bad. Especially in uh, the very early game. Uh, it's very good, very good stuff. And PGG now has to move up toward the top lane. An unsuccessful gank in the mid. And, um, but now they might be lucky on Mac though on the top lane. He's very low on mana, uh, on HP, 300. Good Fissure, blocks him on the right side. Blood Angel makes him eat the nuke as well. And a good block from PGG, forcing Mac to take a different route. Sorry, guys. And uh, he will get away. So two failed ganks right now. PGG will find uh, Windrunner right now again. But Mag will be fine, he's just gonna eat uh, three last hits, two from PGG, one from Blood Angel, and then that's the price he's gotta pay to get back on his lane. He's got three tangos left, so all in all he's gonna be fine. And I like the laning from Dara right now, I like that they switch things up and put G away from the middle lane. Because if this was G in the mid right now, this level one gank would've been, uh, would've worked for sure. Now they go on art style, one second stun, he will freeze, but again, this disruption, an amazing tool against, uh, the cold feet. Proves to be very, very useful. I haven't thought about that. But he does have to use a salve nonetheless. So, 5 for 3 on uh, both heroes, actually. Good stuff. We will see how this here goes. And now Vigos will get the second rune, so haste. Now the pressure and the concentration on both uh, teams must be very very high right now because uh, as I said, Dara won the first game, Moscow 5 won the second one and both teams now know that they can beat the other one so this is going to be a good one. As I said, the winner is going to go up against uh, Na'Vi in the winner's bracket final. The winner of that will be have a sure spot in the grand final which will happen on Sunday. 6 for 4 on Chaos Knight, 1 for 2 on the support Oh, now this disruption actually into a Sunstrike. Art style eats Cold Feet immediately though. He might get frozen, tries to get out of range, and he does make it. And actually Chen came in with Goblack and gets the first blood with his uh, Test of Faith. Got some good damage out here, and uh, AA has to back out off the lane. First blood goes to Dara on the middle lane. And actually Chen doesn't even have a creep. He, oh no, actually he did have a creep. He did have that uh, Dark Troll Warlord. G11 for 2, Admiration 9 for 5. And Mag on the top lane. It's not sitting at 7 for 5, so he's doing okay. But he's... Of course, getting outlaned by um, Blood Angel on Storm Spirit because he has uh, got the support and uh, Blood Angel has the easy lane. Vigo is now doing some ballsy counter warding. Dara will not move to challenge. Vision now gone for Dara on the top rune spot. And it's good timing too because as you can see guys, in 25 seconds there will be the next rune spawned. Well, I guess this ward here from Dara will still give them the intel about which uh, rune spot they will have to go for. Now Ping goes up from Mac, he's wind running for some reason. Oh, he was maybe calling out for Sunstrike. So let's see how this here goes. I was actually hoping I could get uh, fucking mad on stream. Oh man, good initiation from SS here onto Karkov. Three seconds done, this means that he will not be able to disrupt it. He is able to disrupt it, so three seconds, not long enough. But he might drop nonetheless. Great stun from Arsa in return though. It's one more auto attack. And SS gets the last hit. Arsa has to back out. PGG stun also going to hit Vigos. Doesn't have mana for the next one. And Sunstrike going to get the kill on SS. Great one. Two for one so far. I see a rotation coming. Admiration actually invisible. Goblack also here with the... Uh, Dark Troll Warlord, top lane, Mag 12 for 6, Blood Angel 24 for 1, exchanging hits with Mag, moving very aggressively as well. And now we see the TP coming from SS one more time, and they gotta be careful. And they have to move right now, the invisibility is gonna wear off. The initiation comes, here it goes, art style, gets initiated upon, gets sprouted as well, stun lands, he's gonna drop, down he goes, Ancient Apparition gets the last hit, and uh, Funic. Also going to go down to uh, this combination here. Four heroes in the middle lane for M5 and they might go for a push now. And just as I say that Admiration actually TPs to the bottom lane, where God is waiting with a cold snap right for him. Makes him eat some good damage. He does have an invoke ready, so he couldn't follow up with a sun strike, but still. Forces the enemy to get a self, to use a self. He has to use one himself. 
And God even putting one into Wex right away. Interesting. And I like that too. So he can have that ghost walk ready. And now Mac might be in trouble. PGG waiting for the perfect fissure right now. Blood Angel using his nuke. Power shot flies through. Mac wants to exchange hits. Here comes a stun now. And the ultimate from Nature's Prophet bursts him down before he's able to use his wind run. TP coming. Artstyle stun flies out. Goblax here. He's gonna throw out the test of faith. And that gets the kill. Cold feet out on Goblin though. Vigos is here with the support. And it eats him. It does fr uh, freeze him. And Vigos has to be careful now. Artstyle doesn't have the mana. Faked TP in from Prophet. Cause some panic. 25 for 3. 17 for 10. So now G's even advancing his advantage on the bottom lane. So the laning from Dera is very, very good so far. Mag doing some pulling. He actually managed to put, uh, get ready uh, to get himself a bottle. A ult. We're going to fly out. It would have hit if he just. Maybe he gave up on it. And SS is here on the bottom lane. G has to hang back. He has invoke ready, so he can go invisible right away. So there's nothing for them to do here. SS just wasting time. There's a DD rune on the bottom now. Vigos in the mid lane got to hang back a little bit because against this combination, there's nothing he can do. Art style now 24 for six. SS 17 for eight. He's rotating around toward the bottom lane one more time. He might find himself a Chen right now. He's smoked. He knows what's up right now. And SS actually backing off. Pings going out simultaneously. Power shot flies through just on PTG. Graphical bug. So that's why we can't see it. And now. Magic wand on G. Power treads of intelligence right now. So he can tread switch and uh, get the most out of his skills. Actually invokes a cold snap right now. He's looking for it. And a great abuse of the fog right here. Perfect. Great work. He saw the gang coming in for some reason. I'm not sure if uh, the vision from uh, when he was standing here was enough to spot out the enemies coming in. So he actually moved in right here into the fog and then he TP'd out. So two heroes from Dara now wasting time and six for, f six for three the kill score now. As Vigos is continuing to uh, deward. Top two are being pressured now as well. Blood Angel is uh, up to 35 kills now. Uh, creep last hits. So he might actually be the leader of the board. And now four seconds down on art style. The cold feet not going to last, I don't think. And the ultimate from A, that's going to get the kill though. Luckily for Artstyle, he does have that reincarnation ready. Top 2 one's gonna drop though, they're gonna use that uh, glyph just to waste some time. But uh, effectively, just using their glyph for the glyph's sake, they weren't able to do anything about it. 37 on G, 36 on Blood Angels, so G is barely the leader of the board, Artstyle also farming out quite well, and SS only on 21. So this running around that SS has been doing is now really uh, showing itself in terms of his last hit count. His ganks have been failing and that's even with the haste rune and the double damage rune. <laughs> and G's even like, oh there's somewhere around this this area right here. And now they are rotating in. This is dangerous right now. G might spot him out. No, the vision wasn't enough. And now they want to go for bottom. Admiration now. Ultimate is ready. We'll see if how long it's going to stay. Maybe right after this creep he's going to TP out immediately. No, he starts right now. So, there he goes. One second, guys. Gotta quickly check something. Oh, not that. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Here we are. As I said, this was all very spontaneous, so uh, not prepared. The thing with Skeleton King is that once he hits level uh, 3, his reincarnation cooldown is down to 1 minute. So if it's a very long and extended team fight, he's able to live 3 times. And once you get an Aegis on him as well, it's also quite ridiculous. Let's see what's going to happen now. Dewarding happening all over the place. Forty nine now on G, forty five on admiration, so actually through his ultimate he's been able to pick up some good creep kills. And now in the middle lane there might be some action happening. Four against four right now. 
They might not know because PGG's actually smoked up. He's moving in aggressively right now. Fisher hits on two heroes, actually three heroes, and big jumping from Blood Angel. Immediately ultimate use from Chen as well. Blood Angel gets bursted down, he drops first. And now great echo slam from PGG actually getting a kill on uh, Chen. And now a long stun, three seconds on Mag. The debuff from Vigos ultimate is not out. Good usage of that wand. Artstyle is in the middle of it. He still has 50 charges on his wand, uses it right now. PGG throws at another Fisher Karkov, which is funny. He actually drops a so three for two right now. The exchange double kill goes to Nature's Prophet. He's right there. But uh, now he's standing underneath the tower, uh, SS's. Great usage of the fog here from Artstyle. And a great chain stun through that uh, Centaur right there. And Artstyle will pick himself up. PGG as well. No, actually, will be Invoker Sunstrike. So, uh, a great exchange. I think it was 4 for 3 now in favor of Dera. Great fight, great reaction from Goblack with the Chen heal. Kind of uh, negated the first few spells that were thrown out. A big ping now coming out from PGG. It says, go, go gang that guy. Because uh, G is getting out of control. Only because he has been able to... Only because he's been able to get shut down by other teams right now, doesn't mean that he's like a bad player at all. He still managed to get back into the game, he's almost up to a force F, but now he's gonna get ganked. Stun goes off from SS, Ultra from A also flying out. They don't they don't have a dust of appearance though, and he goes invisible. This might be enough to kill him. One, two, three, he's gonna die. My magics die with me. Okay, that is sentry ward. Oh, Artsai got a kill on uh, on Admiration. He bought back immediately. He has a Hannah Midas. So he tries to make uh, it worth his while. Now he's going to find Funic. Chaps himself into the trees with him. Exchanges hits. Funic disrupts Nation's Prophet. And Nation's Prophet's going to die right after this buyback. Gets shackled. And Funic doesn't even use his ultimate. That's how sure he is of this kill. Admiration uses buyback. TPs into the enemy and dies again. That's not what they want to have happen. And Chen also goes down in the meantime to Blood Angel in the middle lane. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Mid lane, initiation on PGG. Great Sunstrike from Invoker. He's all over the place. And gets another kill now on Earthshaker. So they're almost evening out the score right now. They are behind two towers and a disable actually on, on a creep from Chen. Phonic also moving in. He still has that ultimate so he might use it on Blood Angel right now. AA ultimate flying out, hitting on G right now. SS. Doesn't have a stun, Reality Rift also not used, he doesn't care, he just wants to farm. Trion's pushing out the top, and now Nature's Prophet again TPing in. Now he has a 4 staff. No boots though. G would also like to have one of those 4 staffs, but he needs uh, 900 gold more. <laughs> G getting a little bit paranoid right now. So good goal advantage now for the Dire, most likely because of the tower disadvantage. EXP around zero. And Skeleton King also going toward his armlet. So it will be an armlet on Skeleton King and most likely an armlet on Chaos Knight as well. So we will see who of those two heroes will have the advantage. Both have a good skill set, but they're quite different. They're different from each other. Here's Shackle Shot. Actually a great one on Blood Angel. Good chaining off here. The Sun Strike gonna get the last hit again. Um, G just being very, very, very... Uh, what is it? Great heal from Chen. Ultimate onto Funic from AA. is gonna hit. He's gonna shatter for sure. Now, Moscow 5 getting Shackle together. Vigos 2 SS. Great Shackles here from this Windrunner. PGG has to use his uh, Echo Slam just to defensively to get his teammates to run away. Stun from Arcel onto him. Arsen moves in a little bit too close and now Mag will take a fall for it. No, he actually uses his wind run, turns around to fight. He has a shackle ready. Sunstrike. Man, King's been on Invoker, gets killed on AA and now Admiration as well. PG have to run. And SS gets done to it. Creep, uh, by a creep. Three Sanks on the Mag as well. Nuke from Chen gets the last hit. Artstyle has to back out. All heroes alive for, for uh, Dera right now. Big jump from Blood Angel, but he's going to get disrupted perhaps. No, jumps one more time. Artstyle has mana. Is he going to dive after this? That's the question. He has an ultimate. He feels very safe right now. He's not going to stun. He's going to save his mana. He will drop, but he will be right back. Aberration. Four staffs himself into the low ground. He might very well drop. Roshan, man. If that would have been a... Sunstrike barely misses. Aberration now tries to... 
Oh, great one, great one. Got away, Power Shot flies through, gets a kill on Earthshaker, but Matrix Prophet got away. So that's just a Sprout uh, removing the vision uh, of the inside, and there was no way that uh, Funic was able to get himself that vision. He could have done it with the Shadow Poison, but he did put a skill point into that. So now 14 for 2 the skill, skill score, and Dera has been performing very well in those team fights. Pressing the middle tower, Blood Angel. Gonna go for a quick um, Bloodstone. Invoker now has that 4 staff. Got some good gold from the 2 or 3 kills he got via Sunstrike. Vega's gonna continue supporting. And Funic might be coming from the side right now. There's a regen rune on top. Oh man. Oh man. Blood Angel's gonna jump. Gonna try to no ultimate action on Blood Angel. He jumps himself up to the high ground, and they know too. Sunstrike on a miss. Blood Angel goes back to the low ground and uh, s survived that gank. Good, good play from him. Even better mana management. After that last jump, he was down to like 20 mana. And G goes back to farming. 88 last hits up on him now. 89, 9 in admiration, but that's normal because he's got a Nature's Prophet with a big ultimate. So 4 TP coming to the middle lane in the form of Nature's Prophet. And then armlet already up on Skeleton King. Last to ghost him as well. A ultimate. Alright. Gonna miss completely. And G gonna back out right now. Pick himself up an ultimate orb. What is he gonna go for, guys? I'm not too sure. Is it gonna be a hex? SS is behind on farm for sure. This is looking very good for Dera. Armlet, Ogre Club now indicating maybe a BKB for art style. G, gonna go for a sheep stick by the looks of it. Shadow Demon also able to f afford himself a brazier to make him more survivable, so he's gonna go for a dr set of drums, I think. Pings going out as well. M5 have to be careful. They do not, they, they obviously wanna go make it into the final. Chaos Knight using all the time he can to farm up. This critical strike is also very, very dangerous. It's only a 10% chance, but uh, 1 in every 10 hits is going to be triple damage, and uh, that's, that hurts a lot. The only crit stronger is uh, PA's ultimate. And it's not even that much stronger. Now, 3 seconds on the mag, Windrun wears off right now, and SS might be able to get that kill. A ultimate. Gonna miss, but actually, no, SS was able to pull him back into that range, and that's a very, very good combination. AA Ultimate and Chaos Knight Reality Rift. That is what got the kill right now on Windrunner, and now Admiration also TPs in. They want to go for this. Ping is off for PGG, he doesn't want to be alone on the top lane, he's got a level 4 Fissure to uh, slow down some pushes. And there's a big one coming in from Dera right now. First Fissure flies out. He just wants to spam this out, s spam it out as much as he can, but he might not be able to. He has to back out because he's an experienced player. He knows that rotations are coming out into these directions right now. Bottom tier 2 is going to be the trade-off. 4 and 5. One support to be coming in. It's art style. Okay, that's why he can be so ballsy right now. Because he has two lives. Second and 30 P coming in. Actually, it's Vigos and Admiration TPing themselves out. And uh, Dera gets a tier 1 and they defend their tier 2 bottom. So that's pretty nice. Now mech on Chen, looking pretty good so far. Actually TP from Admiration now, they want to go for G. Oh, Dera's outnumbered, 3 to 2. Goblack falls, G has to invoke his, uh, his ghost walk right now. He does, goes invisible, is there anything on the M5 side to make him visible? No, G is fine, but uh, Goblack drops on Chen. So G now just chilling out. He's got level 3 on Invoke, so that's a... What is it? A 12 second cooldown. Sunstrike almost... I think it missed on PGG here. Middle tier 1 is going to drop from Dera. And Chaos Knight gets the last hit of that. 14 for 14. 1k gold advantage in favor of Dera right now. 
E EXP looking about the same. So it's a very close game so far. Just this very slight edge in favor of Dera. And that only manifests in items such as that mech on Chen. So that's going to give them a big advantage in team fights if it's a full on 5 on 5 clash. SS now almost has his armor in return though. And they also have the advantage of having a globally present Nature's Prophet who's able to just uh, pressure them on lanes and punish them for lingering around on another lane for too long. And Art Style needs 650 gold and then he will have his uh, BKB ready as well. 200 gold to that armlet on Chaos Knight. Prophet also going to go for a Hex now. Good D-Ward now from Goblack. Ping is off from PGG into the area where Blood Angel is at. Spotting out G. Blood Angel should grab himself some smoke now. There it is, flying out. And we just crossed the 21 minute mark, guys. This is uh, Roshan time. PGG only has mana boots. He tries to get himself that dagger and then he will be fine. Just a vitality boost on Ancient Apparition, so he wants to beef up as much as he can. Blood Angel has that Bloodstone completed now, and so he will most likely go finish up some treads. And then maybe go for a sheep stick. Sunstrike. Scour out the Roshan Pit. And a smoke on Vigos. The next team fight is going to be very, very important. The next team fight is going to decide which team will have the mid game advantage. And uh, this invisibility rune will uh, give a pretty big advantage to uh, Vigos right now, or to M5. I don't think that this sentry ward was able to spot it. So Vigos is now going to be able to uh, give some good Dyson intel. To the enemy, Art still pressing out the tier 2 mid. G still at the top. Man, he almost has a sheep stick. That will be. He's farming up immensely. 134 last hits at 22 minutes. He's farming like a boss. That is for sure. He's even ahead of Aberration. And a great gank right now here. Blood Angel makes a big jump, and the ultimates from AA also coming in. There's nothing that G can do so far. He just got surprised by a great combination from M5 here. Blitzkrieg. Uh, Blitzkrieg. Basically pulled out here from M5. I know Admiration might be a sacrificial lamb in turn though. Look at that crit. 574 damage from Art Style and uh, Furion doesn't stand a chance. So one for one exchange. Now M5 is moving in though. They're all smoked up. Chen needs to be there. He has the ultimate but the mech will also be needed. Now they're going. Fanic will drop before the fight even starts. He actually manages to disrupt himself. Amazing play here. Now he's going to drop though. Down he goes. Admiration is here. Arsenal fighting away. Now he's going to go head to head against whoever's here. Echo Slam used from PGG. Arsenal is going to be back in one second. And he saves BKB just for this. Here comes a great Chaka shot from Mag. Actually onto two heroes. Blood Angel jumps himself into in here. Ah, oh, Arsenal did not use his BKB. He's going to drop. Should have used it. And now Mag might also drop. He's out of mana. Four staff right now. And a send back from Chen. And he will let his life for it. So the thing is, Art Style was maybe thinking to be too efficient. He uh, still had a full 10 seconds on that BKB and he should have used it as soon as he was back alive. Uh, he got disabled though and then dropped before he was able to be to activate it. Yeah, and now M5 gonna go for Roshan. Great choice, great tactics, great strategy, great fight. M5 got the big advantage right now. If they get Roshan then they solidify their advantage a great bit. Funic will send out some illusions to scout out what's going on. But uh, now G knows, uh, basically assumes what M5 will be going for. The Sunstrike might come right now in case it hasn't already. But it will be too late. SS will be. will have to be faced twice. Or Blood Angel. So you think that uh, Storm Spirit is more important for them right now to live twice? 
And he also has a bloodstone, so that will give us some good charges. Before he actually dies, he will have a good uh, amount of extra uh, charges on his bloodstone. A really uncon... uncon uh, how do you say? Inconvenient fight now for Dera. I think uh, Windrunner might go for a pipe. And now M5 smoked up as well. They have a ward giving vision of Funic, and this will be their victim. Or their target, at least. See a big jump in from Blood Angel, set up all by a fitter from PGG, and he's gonna drop before anything happens. And Blood Angel will jump himself right back out. In and out, and a very clean and uh, acrobatic gank now from M5. Very beautiful to watch. Very effective in the execution. 19 to 15 now, the kill score. Blood Angel playing a great game. PGG setting it up perfectly. Vigos ultimate flying in with the ancient apparition. And they gotta be careful. The thing with the skeleton king is that he's not very mobile. He is a big uh, hero, and he's very susceptible to being kited around in team fights. So I personally like to play him uh, with the four staff. That Hannah Midas is slowly paying dividends toward Nature's Profit. He will. He can actually buy up his. Uh, his sheep sticking, like 100, 200 gold, if I'm not mistaken. And now oh, Blood Angel is actually quite far in there. He, he might go for this. Gets shackled. Uh, he might be in trouble, though. He is in trouble. So we'll see what's, what's going to happen now if there's anything that they can do about it. Uh, G mistimes his, uh, mistimes his deafening blast. Oh man, sheep stick up on G. He's quicker on the sheep stick than Nature's Prophet. He has a flying out to him right now, but that's a 27 minute sheep stick. He died three times, he's got 172 last hits, and is still getting outfarmed by G. <laughs> Sorry guys, Mag got killed on the bottom lane. Good ward here from M5 as well. This is great. This is great. Gives him some good vision as well. Look at this, guys. This is the vision that this remnant gives right now. BKB almost done on SS as well. He needs 700 gold for that. And Art Style just needs uh, more mobility. He's got 147 last hits, 112 on Chaos Knight, so uh, he's doing very well. But the gold and XP advantage is still heavily in favor of M5 right now. And keep in mind, guys, guys that this this is a 1-1 one, one right now. So the winner of this will go up against Navi, and uh, the winner of that will be in the grand final of Star Ladder. So we are. Closing in on the end of this competition. And now all of Dara's in the middle lane. This will be a big clash, actually. A big fight for this tier 2 tower. Or will it, actually? If you watch a minimap, uh, Blood Angel and Admiration taking the high ground from Dara. And, uh. Oh man. This is going quick. They really want to get this tier 2 tower, though. And they do get it. And now the mass TP is coming back. And they gotta be careful. They should back out right now. TP coming in. God coming in. Oh, he did get the sheep out on Nature's Prophet. Blood Angel tries to help him out. Mag is here. Four step into a shackle shot. Great play right there. Blood Angel has to back out. There's nothing he can do. Admiration is going to take a fall. So, tier 2 tower and one kill for a destroyed tier 3 tower. It's going to drop right now. No deny. The bottom racks are unprotected. PGG now. Did he get stunned up? I'm not too sure. He actually blinked just a little bit. Just to dodge it, actually. Was that? That was a cool move, I think. And now, G wants his Aghanim Scepter. He wants to be able to invoke quicker. And uh, with a level 4... Uh, with a level 4 
invoke and uh, Aghanim Scepter, it's going to be a two second cooldown on his invoke and he will be able to spam, spam, spam his spells and uh, it's going to be great for them. Art style, might want to go for some tanky items next, maybe a heart. Still has news BKB. Actually Hyperstone, into an Assault Kuriras now. Blood Angel finished off a BKB for himself as well. G knows what's up. Admiration TPs himself into here as well. They're stealing the farm from Dera in their own jungle. So this is doubly effective. They get farm and uh, deprive Dera of this potential gold and EXP. And in terms of minimap movement, I will give this game to M5 so far. They've been moving very well. They've made some good usage of their global gank potential. And Blood Angel, he was just testing out his uh, his potential, what he's able to do, what he can allow himself to do. And with 11 charges on the Bloodstone, he's got a 20 sec mana per second mana regeneration. So he will be very tough to bring down. Vladimir is offering up on Chen, hood up on Windrunner now. There's uh, two BKBs and a good initiation onto Blood Angel. The, the chain hexes are coming out, G coming out as well, the burst damage too much. Great explosive play coming out of Dera right now, getting a kill on the most important hero on the M5 side. Due to the charges on the Bloodstone, he is only dead for about 25 seconds, but he loses 4 charges, so he was at 11, now down to 7. Admiration pressuring the bottom again, Dera has to be twice as careful now because the bottom racks are unprotected so far, and they want to go for him. PGG is telling him, watch out man, and it was almost too, uh, too late. Just a half a second longer, stay. Like if Furion would have overstayed his welcome for about half a second to one second, then he would have been dead, for sure. There would have been nothing he could do about it. Vigos has a four staff of his own right now. So four staffs are basically your counter item if you are facing up against uh, Skeleton King. And you don't want to and you don't want to die so fast. You can either go for a Ghost Scepter, but then you will take additional damage from uh, the magical damage. Or you can just go for four staff and then just get away from him. PGG has that blink dagger. Is now going for what looks to be a Yule Scepter, which is a very interesting item choice for a uh, Earth Shaker. Tier two tower on top could be lost by Dera. Now PGG wants to make something happen. Is there a smoke up on anyone here? No, there's not, but it appears that they want to continue going. Radiant Pings go out right now. So what they are saying is maybe... Oh man, even taking the high ground right now, Chen has to use his heal, and uh, Invoker drops. BKB used by SS now, ultimate from Shadow Demon goes through, he disrupts himself, and uh, Dera is not there to defend right now. Artstyle and Mac are just arriving, just as Shadow Demon drops. And now Artstyle going up against SS, he might get the kill here, crit. Crit, doesn't need it, goes down. Great ultimate in from PGG as well. Uh, G, eating a lot of damage, he bought back. He doesn't want to drop again this time. And Blood Angel also, in the middle of this, gets uh, disabled right now. Eats a cold snap as well, has to go BKB and then zip himself out of there. 2 for 2 the exchange, actually 2 for 3 in favor of M5. And G bought back. 4 step up to the high ground. There's no hex on G right now, but Blood Angel barely has any mana. He can have like one mini jump right now. Oh, great check shot, and the Sunstrike's gonna get the kill. So, they didn't get the top racks or the tower. And uh, Dera successfully defended their high ground and got a one more kill than M5 got. And uh, Artstyle didn't even drop. And he didn't even use his BKB again, by the looks of it. And that is not on even a graphics bug. He did not use his BKB. But uh, both gold and EXP are still heavily favoring M5. They have a one tower advantage. Yule Scepter up now on PGG. 4.6k gold now on Nature's Prophet. He's going to go for some damage most likely. Double degradation. And Roshan will be up very soon. He could have waited a bit before picking up that rune. So he will farm this spot. And then they will go for Roshan. Um... So now down to 6 charges is, is Blood Angel. 9 seconds 
on his BKB. Let's actually switch to vision right now. So this is Dera's vision. They're smoking in right now. And they, these guys are all hidden, but they know the smoke dispelled, and that's why the team fight is going to happen. I switch back to the normal vision. G initiates. Misclick from SS. Had to use his BKB. Down to 8 seconds. And the fight stopped. So for the next team fight, if it happens within the next minute, it will be a big advantage for Dera that their damage dealer is not magic immune. But then again, Nature's Prophet doing a very good job of forcing Dera away from Roshan, and now M5 will go in. Amazing play. Great top level play from M5. So they're sending Shadow Demon back to defend, and they want to challenge Roshan. See what they're gonna do. Prophet is just waiting. There's so much stuff happening right now. And now they are going in. Art style moving into the Roshan pit. They want to get this Roshan really, really quickly. This uh, Remnant is give, gonna give them some vision. And Nature's Prophet gets the kill on Funic. And now the bottom barracks will actually drop. A very, very uh, dire situation right now. Ancient Apparition gets the kill on Chen. There was actually an ultimate. Chen heal also was able to get out. And uh, Blood Angel jumping around like crazy. Mag might take a fall right now. Uh, G drops and now Blood Angel, BKB will get a kill on Mag, and Art Style will be the sole survivor. Hasn't used his BKB just yet. He has his ultimate left as well. SS goes down now. Art Style actually uses his BKB to fight a little bit. He still didn't drop. He's gonna see if he will get some good crits on Admiration here. There's one. He sh would have needed two though. And now Blood Angel's here. Art Style's gonna drop. He might drop a second time. PGG also here, Art Style has to be very careful. He uh, just has to stand there and fight. He can't run away anyway. Admiration even from the high ground, trying to do as much as he can. <laughs> PGG uh, swirls himself through the air and uh, he's gonna totem. Fissure, last hit. Goes to Stone Spirit. Bottom racks are lost for Dera. Maybe a little bit too fancy what they tried to do. But M5 utilizing map control perfectly. They utilized the Nature's Prophet pick they had very very well. Aberration displaying some amazing play by just hanging back right here and he just let wait it. He had a big creep wave right here fighting for him f on those on those racks and uh, Phonic was here as well and he was just here waiting 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 and he was waiting to see if Dera was going to initiate down here or if they were also going to come back. As soon as he saw Dera initiating right here he TP'd right around here and uh, killed Phonic with the help of a very good AA ultimate and yeah, that was about it. 23 to, 20, 23 to 28 right now. This is looking very, very good for M5. Right here, this spot right there. That was the point in time when Dera could have spiraled out of control and taken this game very, very quickly. But M5 fighting back like champs. Blood Angel playing very, very well in the ganking department. PGG setting up those ganks very well with the Fissure. And Nature's Prophet always making sure that uh, Dera has something to worry about. Elsewhere on the map. So now we'll see what Dero's gonna do. Art Style has not been able to do so much with his pick, uh, mainly because he's just running around and uh, not able to keep up with the high mobile heroes in uh, Storm Spirit and Chaos Knight. So he has to rely on G and his other friends to force staff him into the appropriate positions. Whereas Chaos Knight is more versatile in this regard. He can just reality rift onto the enemy hero. And I think that is one of the reasons why he is preferred over heroes such as uh, Skeleton King. Also the crit from uh, Chaos Knight is stronger. But has a 5% less proccing chance. PGG wants to make sure that all outer towers are going to be destroyed. We'll see if Dara is going to challenge. Maelstrom up on Skeleton King. Ultimate from Furin also now flying through. Art style is here. Jumping from Blood Angels just to uh, cause some confusion. Blink. Ultimate from Earthshaker is up. And they back out. So the tier 2 falls. Art style might get initiated right now. Has to be careful. Split push coming out of M5. Great play. Amazing play from M5. They're just split pushing them, I think. No, nope. They're all going to the top. 
So they just want to go for the tier 2 tower and now they will go toward the top because the tier 3 is almost dead. So a very very smart play. The illusions from uh, SS are going to do the job. Not. But that was a deafening blast meteor combo and now Artsal, there you go man. He will lose his life before he's able to do anything about it. And uh, Windrunner drops right away, Chen is also dead, G has to go back he, because he's al al also almost dead and Artsal standing here with his first life still. He actually did get his BKB out. And now he will drop. His second life will not be as effective. And a triple kill up on Storm Spirit. Art style on Skeleton King will drop as well. And this will be a GG. M5 will go into the winner's bracket. Going up against Na'Vi right after this. We'll see how this goes, guys. No GG call from Art style, though. So they're going to go for the Mega Creeps. There's, there won't be a buyback on any of these heroes. Arsenal actually managed to get himself a Mjolnir before he went into that fight. But, uh... I don't know, man. M5 has just been playing very, very well. It, it's been a good... It's been a good three games now. Very entertaining. And I would have, uh... Given it up for both teams to be able to go up against Na'Vi in the final. Uh, the winner's bracket final. Personally, I would have preferred Dera. But, oh well. Oh, shit. So GG is what PGG means, I think. I wish we were able to just uh, switch cameras over to uh, the Cyber Arena right now. And M5 takes the win. The next game is kind of going to come up right after this, guys. I will switch you guys over here. Ah, man, what a game. What a game, guys. So... Here we go, the tiebreak, I will actually update this here right now, tiebreak goes to M5. And they will go up against Navi next, so I will stop the recording right here and we'll see afterwards, uh, or rather I will see you guys afterwards in the winner's bracket final. So thanks for tuning in guys, check out epiccommentary.com and uh, I will see you right after this.